it's Sarah from All Coin Best Lady. So hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and let's crack on with today's video. So 2018 is turning out to be a year in which the serious projects start to separate themselves from the rest by launching on their own networks. In 2017, a record number of ERC20 token ICOs were unveiled, and while many are thought to be scams, a good number are coming out to claim a little space in an increasingly crowding industry. So quarter two sees so many minute launches, especially May, I would say, the highlight of which is the Tron launch on May 31st, as well as EOS. You guys, you can check out my video about it and how it will affect Ethereum. If you haven't checked it out yet, give it a look. It's quite an okay video, I think. So while these are one of the most popular altcoins out there, they obviously got a massive community and following, and most of crypto are watching it, there are a few that should still abstract attention due to the underlying technologies. And here are top three, in my opinion, main launches. This is not in any way a professional financial advice either, guys. This is just my summary of what's currently going on in the market. So the first one we're gonna talk about is Oyster Apparel with a ticker PRL. So Oyster is one of the not as known altcoins, but it has a really interesting project in my opinion, especially with the main chain being launched. Uh, the Oyster Mainer will be released and it's been delayed for May 29th, 2018. It's built on a hybrid blockchain technology basically. To achieve this, the team of developers utilized the IOTA Tangle protocol and popular smart contract capabilities from the Ethereum network. The Oyster platform is designed to enable websites to connect content creators to the consumers. The protocol will help sites to silently generate traffic revenue as visitors perform proof of work for a decentralized storage ledger. And we know that there is a whole market in the advertising industry that this project seeks to exploit, leveraging on Oyster Pearl smart contracts to reach a wider consumer base. Other features that make a platform worth looking at include the distributed reputation system, the website revenue, and obviously the centralized storage. So let's have a look on Oyster Apparel. Like I said, it's one of not so known altcoins, which I think is a big miss out for a lot of people. It's just a great project. It's around 222 on coin market cap and it's currently trading at 54 cents at the time of the video. You can get it from KuCoin, Cryptopia, IDX and Coin Exchange with Bitcoin or Ethereum. And there is also some excitement that the token will be listed on Huobi soon, which is also one of the most popular exchanges, which will obviously push the price up as it's as what we saw happen with Zcash recently. Okay, so the next one will be Nulse, which is expected to launch its main at this May. And with just a few days left, the small community is getting pumped up for a great future. The reason behind that is basically that Nulls is one of those projects that have, has been gathering a lot of attention but has yet to make an impact. So with the mainnet now on the horizon, it's hoped that the project will finally move forward. So Nulls basically distinguishes itself as a unique project that utilizes proof of credit consensus, the OC, and is highly customizable with the modular architecture. In addition, it's also among the first to be able to have smart contracts, multi-chain mechanisms and crossing capabilities. The project also has some good partnerships and thanks to that it's attracting a lot of attention. So Nulls is currently trading at $3.69 and is ranked 93 on CoinMarketCap. You can get it on Binance, OK Exchange, KuCoin. Basically, it's wildly available. It's got the leverage of being available on Binance, which is one of the most popular, most likable exchange. And last but not least will be the Internet Node Token with the ticker INT. It's a new crypto platform that seeks to utilize the Internet of Things to develop and decentralize applications. It's a public blockchain that has a focus about a use case suitability. The multi-chain architecture makes it suitable for use in the vast Internet of Things ecosystem. Its business model is built to provide a safe and secure platform with which a new Internet of Things ecosystem can be modeled. So the technology can be used in a variety of applications, including smart grids for energy, smart transport, smart homes, and smart logistics, among many other ones on here. All these make the platform a good pair for disrupting the current ecosystem and carving a niche for itself, basically. One of the noticeable things about INT is that it has many partners already. 
The crypto has partnered with a tech giant IBM, Huawei, um, JIC Capital, and IMECIS. And basically with the launch coming, it's likely to see a lot of interest potentially impacting the value of it. So currently INT is ranked 281 on CoinMarketCap and it's trading at 20 cents. It's available on OK Exchange, Coinec and Allcoin. I actually never heard of Allcoin. Um, so it's not as widely available. So obviously addition to any sort of a major exchange or even any exchange will drive the price majorly. So this is one of the products I think I had the least around Twitter. And guys, let me know. Out of those three, which ones are you most excited about? Have you heard of all of them? Are you interested in them? Let me know your thoughts and whether you're excited about any of them. And if you huddle any of them. And remember to subscribe to our channel and to follow All Canvas Ladies on Twitter and to follow me, All Queen Sarah, on Twitter. And I'll catch you guys later. Bye!